With the onset of new rescue technology, the rescue world needs to be familiar with the different types of those technologies and how to use them. Today we're going to take a look at the Arizona Vortex, a new system that has been in play and has many purposes. Vince, would you show us how to put the, the Arizona Vortex together? Yeah, we'll go over that. But first of all, we need to go over the parts. The uh, Arizona Vortex is a modular tripod system. It comes in four or five bags depending on the configuration that you buy. It comes with upper legs, lower legs, a headset, and a feet set. And make sure if you're ordering one of these devices that you order all of it because actually it does not even come with the feet if you order the basic set. So look at what you're getting and make sure that you get all the components that you need. We're going to start with the top. At the top of the Arizona Vortex, we've got the head. And it's a two-piece configuration which gives it a lot of added versatility. The blue piece is going to be the A-frame head and the orange piece is actually a gin pole head. The two go together by removing these pins right here and it actually forms a hinged A-frame which gives us what they refer to in the instruction manual as an easel leg. This allows this leg to swing out. It can actually swing out and be placed up against a building, up against a rock wall, whatever configuration that you need to do that swinging third leg actually gives it a lot of added versatility. Some other things it does for us, it allows us to adjust the length of each leg independent of the other legs, which gives it a lot of versatility for use on uneven surfaces that we typically find in rocky terrain and even in some industrial settings. If you would pull a couple of these pins out, all the pins with this set are the smaller pins that go into the legs. There's only four large pins and these are the full rated strength for the anchor system on the head and they will only fit in the holes on the actual tripod head. And right here we've assembled the system and you can see it limits itself to going to this point which is going to be up at about 30 degrees above the horizontal which you can see would give it a lot of versatility in what you can do with it. Some other neat features on the head is this large rigging plate that it configures into. When used as a gin pole, a tripod or whatever all these rigging points that it gives us are fully rated and gives us a lot of attachment points. This allows us to attach pulleys, attach anchor lines, belay lines, and whatever is needed for the rescue scenario. There's lots of attachment points which works out really good. Another interesting feature is these little sheave pulleys. By pulling these pins, you can insert one of these pulleys and you can actually let you do the whole thing. Here, start that over. Okay. Carney's going to demonstrate inserting one of these sheaves pulleys with a pin assembly. What this allows us to do is take full advantage of all the height that we have in the system. The Arizona Vortex is a little more versatile than most tripods. We can actually, with three lower legs and one upper leg fully extended, we can gain a maximum working height of 12 feet. Most of the time that's going to be plenty. A lot of times though, in a rescue situation, we need to take advantage of all that height. This little pulley configuration that we have here allows us to take full advantage of the height of the system. We don't have a carabiner and another pulley which loses six or eight inches. It may not sound like a lot, but if all you need is six or eight inches with 600 pounds hanging off of it, it makes it really nice to be able to clear that edge. So always think about that when you're doing your rigging. Right now we're going to demonstrate assembling the tripod and we're going to use one of the lower legs and one of the upper legs on each of the three legs. It comes with a little bag of pins. These pins here are, the, are all interchangeable for all the feet and the legs. The only pins, like I said earlier, that are unique are the four pins that go in the head. We've got this in a very short configuration which makes it easy for working and demonstration purposes. I can't see the And then we're going to put one of the feet on. You got two different styles of feet. We've got the raptor claw which has got a machine grade tool steel uh, piece of metal on the bottom which gives it a really good surface for biting in. It's really good use on hard surfaces. On a flat surface like a, a membrane roof on a building or something like that, 
a lot of times we're going to take advantage of the, the flat foot, which pivots on a round ball and it's locked into place. That distributes that load and keeps it from puncturing through. Since this system is modular, it's important to realize the situation that you have in your rescue scenario. There's no sense of toting up a lot of extra equipment. If you only need the gin pole, by all means, don't take the entire system. Uh, it's, it's nice and compact. It fits in four or five different bags, which allows you to carry it more easily. Instead of one person carrying a large, heavy piece of equipment, we're able to take this and break it down and distribute the load amongst all the rescuers. And right here we've got our little miniature tripod set up, one of the basic configurations of the Arizona Vortex. We can raise this up by simply repositioning these pins. We pull these pins and we can extend these legs out. I'm going to pull this one out and extend the easel leg out just to give you some idea of what we're talking about. Now we've got this easel leg extended out probably two feet longer than the others. This allows us to set this thing up in a more vertical configuration or it allows us to let this leg go over really far. Okay? This allows a whole lot of versatility based on the train that we're working on. Now this can be raised to a total height of 12 feet, is that correct? That's correct. With the upper leg assembly and three of the lower leg assemblies, the maximum working height would be 12 feet and that's the maximum the manufacturer recommends.